You think you know me. The Hall of Famer is here! The superstar who really is living his dream. The rated R superstar. Edge has accomplished everything in his career. Uh, Cornerstone, one of the forefathers of the tables, ladders, and chairs match. Not to mention, Byron, the important fact that he totally reeks of awesomeness. And along with Christian, the creator of the five-second pose. The ultimate opportunist. The challenger from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 Underdogs in WWE history. The true Cinderella story after being told he could no longer compete inside of a WWE ring. Daniel Bryan fought long and fought hard and recaptured his dream and refuses to let go. It was on the big stage of WrestleMania where Daniel Bryan realized his dream capturing the WWE Championship.
Edge has been called the ultimate opportunist, and it's a nickname he's earned by using some unique methods to earn titles in main event matches. You say unique, I say innovative. Edge was the first Money in the Bank winner, and he picked the best possible time to cash in. If not for him, we'd have folks going the John Cena route and declaring their cash in ahead of time. Now that's how you slam an opponent down with authority. He's on the defensive here. The both of you brought up Edge as the ultimate opportunist, and that Money in the Bay cash-in was just the tip of the iceberg. In the six years after that, Edge bent the rules to extreme lengths to get ahead. All's fair in love and wrestling, Saxton. We've seen Edge win another man's Money in the Bank briefcase, make a surprise Royal Rumble entry, enter two elimination chambers in the same night even dated Vicky Guerrero to get preferential treatment back when she ran SmackDown. It was brilliant. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Ouch. The WWE Universe. The Impaler DDT. But he's got to capitalize now. Someone's going to be black and blue tomorrow. He's got a split personality, King, and I don't like either one of them. To the face. You fellas brought up Daniel Bryan as Mr. Money in the Bank, and I personally thought he used that briefcase perfectly. He's the only Money in the Bank winner to choose a date and then shock the world successfully by cashing in before that. Many people have claimed Money in the Bank is a blessing and a curse. That WrestleMania Daniel Bryan claimed he was going to cash it in at. Instead, he defended his championship there and lost it to Sheamus in 18 seconds. Look at this! History was with Roman Reigns at the 32nd WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas. The big dog was on the hunt that night and defeated Triple H to become the WWE Champion in front of more than 100,000 screaming members of the WWE Universe. On that night, Reigns would not be denied. When this guy's on, Look out. Oh boy, he is rolling. Nobody controls the pace oh, of a man. match quite like this guy. The Impaler! What a maneuver. Oh man, that's put so many competitors away. Anytime a WWE Championship changes hands, it's historic. But the conflict between Triple H and Roman Reigns was so intense that the only place their differences could... Edge is sizing it up. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. What an assault on Roman Reigns. A takedown of colossal proportions right there. And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. That's what he was looking for, Michael. That's as legit a takedown as you will ever see. Got the shoulders down. One, two, three. Edge wins. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. The ultimate opportunist figured out a way to win here tonight. We may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you there was nothing easy about that win right there.